Hello and welcome to another edition of Siler Design Solutions Tips and Tricks. This is Rob Windsor and today we're going to talk about turning toolbars on in AutoCAD. This post might actually show my age a little bit, but I still like to use toolbars in AutoCAD. In fact, it's one of the first things I do when I load a new product is I change my user interface to a show toolbars. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to turn those on and here we go. In newer versions of AutoCAD, you can actually click on the drop down for the customized quick access toolbar. In that, you're going to see down at the bottom, it's going to say show menu bar. Click that and it will just pop the menu bar up above the ribbon. It's that easy. When you go to get rid of that, same thing, you click on that drop down, hide menu bar, and it goes away. While we're here, I wanted to show you a secondary option to turn the menu bar on and it is in the command line, type in the word menu bar. Now here, you're shown that the current setting is at zero. Zero is the default, it's with it turned off. Change this to a one to turn it back on, and when you're done, type it in again, change it to a zero to turn it off. But we need this on, so let's continue. You wanna to go to the tools menu, Hover over the word toolbars, about three lines down. Go over to hover over AutoCAD. Here are all your AutoCAD toolbars. There are scroll arrows at the top and the bottom so that you can see everything. You select one, it will turn the toolbar on and give the option to place it. Come back in, rinse and repeat. Tools, toolbars, AutoCAD, select the appropriate toolbar and then place it on your user interface. That's it. When you're done, you can come back and turn off your menu bar, whether it's by the drop down or by the command line, and call it a day. Now, hopefully, you're getting back to some normalcy in your AutoCAD routine, and I hope you have a great day, and thank you for your time.